all right youtube welcome back to a new video and um today i want to show you guys how to make this super clean pet inventory ui as you can see on my screen so uh yeah i know you guys want me to make to explain stuff uh a bit more slowly so this video might be a bit longer but um the goal for this video is to show you guys step by step how to make something like this so uh yeah let's hop right into it um first things first i am in photoshop and my um canvas size is 1920 by 1080 i think the resolution is 100 so uh yeah that's going to be the canvas size the dimensions first things first we're going to make a new layer so click on this new layer button and now we're going to go to our rectangle and you're going to want to click and hold move down to the rounded rectangle tool and uh we're gonna let go this is going to select and now we're going to change our radius i'm thinking 25 make sure your color is on white so i'm just gonna hit this button and now we're just going to drag all right it seems like we have to increase a bit so I'm gonna do 35 all right looks good to me let's drag out our shape there we go here is our shape all right so let's take a look at how this ui is uh, formatted um the inventory all of that is aligned the text here and the boxes are right here so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to make the inventory text so let's go ahead and type out our text so i'm gonna make the color black to start off i'm just going to click type out inventory i'm using the font arial you could change it if you want to let's arrange it right over here i don't know if you could tell but there's a slight color difference so i'm gonna click it the color code is three 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 four eight so you go ahead and copy that there we go let's take this and paste the color so there we have inventory just like that and now the next step is we got um the categories right over here so let's move this back down we're gonna take the text you're gonna hold alt and uh we hold alt down if you drag this up and let go it will make a copy for you so there we go now let's take this now let's take the copy let's move it down change it to alt make the font into bold and we're going to scale it down to 25 let's say yep right here and now we're gonna hold alt and shift to copy this text again and then we're gonna do pets the font weight back to regular and right, let's position it right here now we're just gonna turn down the opacity all right so 45 so now we just copy the text let's do trails and also cases there we go that looks good to me so far this little slider bar so let's drag out our rulers so if you go to view you can enable rulers and also snap right here so once you have rulers i'm just going to drag this out let's go ahead and drag a ruler here as well to make sure everything is aligned properly so this right here is going to be our right single all right all right so we're going to take our right single tool we're going to go back to the first rectangle we're gonna make a new layer i'm just gonna go right here all right we're just going to drag our shape all the way across to almost like right here i think i gotta change the color so change the color to black there you go i'm gonna do Control t so i can resize it's a bit too thick let's see where it is all right perfect let's lower the opacity to 45 or uh let's do 15 uh, let's change the color to this color right here. Opacity, let's do five. All right, now I'm going to copy this right single. So hit Control J and turn the opacity back up. And we're gonna wanna select this color right here. Now you want to hit Control T, all right? And we're just going to readjust the size back. Just like that. Right there. Control T, let's bring this up and down. There we go. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the X button. So click and hold on your rectangle right tool and we're gonna move down to ellipse tool, all right? And now you wanna hold Alt and we're gonna select this red color. Now you want to take your rulers, drag to the center like that. We're gonna move our mouse to the middle and we're gonna click Click and hold. Now you want to hit Shift and Alt and drag out. 
There we go. And we're just gonna leave it right there. And we're gonna take our text. So let's take all, hold alt, drag it up. Let's change this to an X and make the color into white. Just like that. Make sure it's right in the middle. We can right click our ellipse, go into blending options. And uh, let's go for drop shadow. You can copy my settings right here. Uh, let's go for opacity of 35. That should work fine. This is what we got so far. I think it looks really nice. Also, by the way, this UI is available in the store. So if you guys want to go ahead and purchase it, if you're a developer and you just want to buy the UI, it is available in our store. So go ahead and check it out. All right, now we're going to make these uh, pet boxes. So let's go for a new layer. Click and hold, rounded right angle tool. Let's hold Alt and select this color. I'm gonna drag our rulers into the middle of these boxes. Now we're just gonna hold Alt and Shift as we drag out. Um, I think we guys just see radius. I'm gonna do 25. Let's drag out. There we go. Right here. That looks good to me. And uh Let's make sure these are aligned right here. Now we could just take these and we could uh, just, let's see the distance. Something like this. Now we take these and if you hold Alt and Shift, and uh, if you drag while holding Alt and Shift, you could uh, make copies and have them uh, locked to the uh, axis right here. So let's go for this right here. So you can make these a bit smaller. We can just see these a little bit. There we go. And uh, we can hit Control G to make a groove. Alt and Shift, drag down, make some copies. There we go. And here's our pet boxes. Now from here, you can add any pet image you want. Uh, I'm just gonna use this for a placeholder. This is not mine, so. I am not taking any credit for uh, this image. So I'm just gonna copy and paste these. There we go. And uh, let's group these up and call these pet images. All right, and now let's make our, this little pop-up box. So let's go for round and rectangle again. Let's select this white color by holding Alt. New layer. I think 25 is fine for the radius. Yep, so let's select that there we go and uh, as for the text so if you hit D this will reset your colors you go for glowing pets or I say for this one let's do evil pets let's make the color into dark gray instead all right um let's enlarge this right here I'm gonna make sure the scaling is uh, neat all right let's actually make this a bit lighter There we go, you go Alt and Shift and drag down. This will copy the text. Rare, let's do Ultra Rare for this one. Let's make this red. There we go. And now, back to our random rectangle. Make a new layer. Alt, I'm gonna copy this color. This color code is F3F6FF. Now we're just gonna drag for the EXP bar, as you can see. We're gonna hit Control J to copy. Double click on this icon. This will open up the color picker. I'm just gonna pick on this uh, green color. You can hit Control T, adjust the, um, the length. There we go. All right, now the text should be uh, pretty self-explanatory, so. I'm not going to explain this part too much. Level five, 650, and 1000. All right, the box here is pretty much the same thing. So use your rounded right angle, and we're just gonna select, create this little box. And then for these buttons, let's make the radius 15. Select those, drag these across, and you can just copy these like so. Change the color to blue and this one to green. All right, now for the pop up box, let's add drop shadow. So it's right here, right click blending options. Let's go for drop shadow 
and now let's adjust the size drop the opacity to 10 thank you guys for watching this video i think it's been a while since i did a ui tutorial so here you guys go um with that being said we got a ton of more better entertaining videos that will come out very soon so make sure you guys stay tuned yeah make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed if this helps you if you have any questions make sure to comment down below with that being said i'm gonna see you guys in the next video Thank you.